Oh, and welcome to Texas Gal Treasures. This is my first video of uh, things that have sold lately. So here we go. Uh, so this week, some of the things that sold were this really nice Lane Bryant beaded tunic um, I found for a dollar. They were having a sale down at the thrift store and I took a best offer of $24.99 on it. Uh, so pretty good margin there for me. I was very tempted to keep it. It was super cute. Next uh, is a cast iron and wood iron uh, coffee grinder that I've actually been sit sitting on for a while. I bought at a garage sale for about 4 or $5 um, back in the summer last year. And I ended up taking a best offer on it, uh, $55.00. Uh, because I'd had it for so long, um, and I, actually it wasn't that bad to ship. I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a pain, but it was not too bad at all. Uh, so next up is a t-shirt. It's a red Quicksilver t-shirt. Again, got on a half price Goodwill Day and ended up taking a best offer of, I believe, eleven ninety nine for that one. Uh, I started doing t-shirts after watching some of uh, Jason Smith and Brian Goodman on thrifting with the boys. I never really ventured into t-shirts, but I thought, hey, why not? Let's give it a try. And voila. Next is books. I love vintage children's books. So here's one that I got at an estate sale. Uh, I waited till the last day. It was killing me because they had so many vintage kids books. But you know how it is with estate sales that the price drops each day. And they had them listed for crazy. And then the, I went in the last day, and most of them were still there. And I got them for dirt cheap. I mean, huge stacks of vintage children's books. Um, so again, this one I sold $13.99. Uh, ever since watching Jason T. Smith taking some of his cues, I've started doing free shipping and just building in the price into my... Um, item and it's worked out really well for me. I don't have a lot of issue with, oh gosh, I didn't charge enough or they're getting mad that it was more. I don't know. But this has worked out really well. Next up is, this was my grandmother. She collected um, international dolls and everywhere she traveled, she picked them up. Well, this one was um, a music box and actually I know I keep throwing out there Jason T. Smith or the Thrift Tenders, but I get so many good ideas from them. Uh, I learned how, I taught myself how to upload a YouTube video. So I actually put a video in the listing of her. Let me show you. Let me scroll down. See full item. And here it is. So if you went into you into the listing, you could click and see her in her all her hot glory. There she is. All right, isn't that great? Uh-oh, <laughs> I'm gonna close that out. All right, next step uh, is a Ziggy coffee mug. Again, another thing I never really got into were the coffee mugs, but again, pick them up for about a quarter a piece. The, there's a thrift store not far from me that sells them about a quarter a piece, and I took a best offer of $14.99. Um, so that was really pretty nice. Uh, let's see. This was another one that I picked up. I thought, who is this lady? Because um, my family really likes all the British royalty, Queen, Jubilee, all of that. Uh, so I saw this. I saw, oh, it's somebody's Jubilee. I went over and looked. I'm like, oh, I don't know who this is. Um, it didn't say the country or anything on it. Uh, but I thought, oh, that's Swedish or Dutch or something. Uh, so I picked it up thinking somebody has to love their queen, queen mother, whoever it is. Uh, so I did. Brought it home, listed it, and sure enough, Queen Juliana sold $14.99. Again, pretty good margin for me there. And here is another thing that I never thought to get into were suits and coat jackets, uh, suit jackets, that kind of thing. And that one I have to give it to Rake and Profit. I watched some of his videos and started researching suit jackets while I was out. And... Um, Again, picked up for probably less than $5. A few of the places around here, suit jackets from between 3 and $5. Uh, 
uh, the whole suit at one place I think is seven dollars so as you can see it's pretty good um, I like that picture <laughs> uh, so hey pretty nice uh, so I'm switching over to my Etsy shop now and oops here we go so these are some mod uh, earrings that I sold I think they ended up selling for $14.99 um, picked them up at a garage sale vintage postcards I bought a big bag of Italian vintage postcards at a garage sale and I think I paid ten dollars and there were about maybe 60 postcards in there and I mean some of them have been I've been sitting on them but they sell nicely this set of six I sell them for about five dollars a piece so that went for about thirty dollars probably about 25 I really liked these that were the blue tinted on them um, so those went to the same person and then again patterns sell really well and you can pick them up for a quarter or so uh, depending on where you go I think that's it uh, so thanks for watching and uh, like on Facebook Texas Gal Treasures subscribe to the page uh, let me know you're watching leave me a comment and I will get back with you later bye